Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming out your first trading day in July. Could be a lower liquidity day. A lot of U.S. players will probably bridge. Um, obviously, tomorrow is Independence Day, which is a bank holiday in the U.S., uh, so it's logical that you take Monday off and so you get the four-day weekend. Um, Let's see how liquidity looks and how it goes. We got quite a few manufacturing releases today uh, on the docket. Also, to note, the uh, hockey players up in Canada they're they're on holiday today as well. Um, let's pull up the Urien chart uh, to start. We have all of these uh, manufacturing PMIs coming out of Europe. Uh, I would say there's a high likelihood that they're going to suck the duck. So you want to look to be short or get short Euro Yen. Oh, excuse me. Um, went around the lake yesterday on the bike. 196 kilometers and all. Getting too old for that shit. Um, over here, gotta say. Feeling it in my legs, also my shoulders. Uh, anyway, Urien, um, if these guys have a heavy miss, right? So the Italian number comes out 945, Spanish 915, French government balance. Um, French and German stuff just before 10 o'clock. So we're looking for a pretty sizable miss uh, on these numbers. So Euro Yen could go left. Keep in mind also the US ISM manufacturing uh, is coming in 4 p.m. They're actually expecting a little bit of a better number this, this time, but I don't know. Like, Services, I have no problem seeing the U.S. beat, but what happens if the U.S. misses here? If the U.S. misses here, we love um, we love Euro higher. Of course, let's see what let's see what the European numbers are in case Euro gets kicked in the teeth. Um, maybe dollar yen higher, dollar yen lower if if the U.S. misses. Um, Anyway, um, Swiss CPI also today, so we're looking at this Swiss yen all-time highs. Uh, we think the Swiss, we think inflation's over here. We live here. Um, certainly, we live in sort of second-class Switzerland, uh, if you ask anyone in, in this country. The place is sort of run by the people in Zurich, and the Swiss-German people kind of really drive the bus here here in the French speaking area um, we don't get much uh, we don't get much love but here in Geneva and in the Romandie which is my region here uh, inflation looks to be not present at all uh, gasoline prices are lower food prices are the same okay housing prices are absurd but they're always absurd in Switzerland um, so anyway look for a if we miss this, uh, if we miss this CPI today at 8:30, or comes in lower, Swiss yen could be your horse. Also, Euro Swiss could be your horse. Euro Swiss did some weird stuff um, at the quarter end trade on Friday. We like picking up Euro Swiss on low ones. We're pretty low here, you know, in a very minute range. Let's call the range. 97 98 uh, so we're 97 65 but we've just ret returned from 98 20 so i guess we're right in the middle you see this bar here 97 22 98 22 um so i guess we're right here in the middle i, I bet that's kind of 61.8 i mean i bet that's yeah 61.8 50 but i don't even want to draw the fibs Anyway, if um, if CPI misses, you want to try and grab some Euro Swiss or sell some Swiss yen. 
Um, voila. We talked about it on uh, Twitter a couple days ago because of this bar here. Uh, looks like a change in direction in gold. We were fortunate enough to start accumulating gold at uh, 1898. Um, again, you, you, you kind of see what was happening here with this bar here. So you had the big red bar, but then you could see it just doesn't re didn't really like it down there. Then you were paid immediately with a move up to 13. This was accumulation, and you were a little bit on the hoping side. On Friday, we were in the hope zone, hoping for uh, a miss on, on PCE. We kind of got what we wanted. It wasn't a massive miss, but um, gold looks like it's turned. So long gold um, looks okay. You know, you, you just you just want to you don't want to see a lower uh, low on the dailies today which is a hard thing if you're just starting into this trade here uh, you're a little bit late to the game you know there's 20 bucks before you make a new lower low so be super careful with your position sizing if you're gonna try this or um, maybe a more sensible thing is have a look at, you know if this thing touches 1947 or 1944 and comes off uh, through this little trend line here or um, if you're really Zen trader and you want to pick the easiest place to get long gold, 1985 uh, is going to be super important. And if you're really only trying to harvest, you know, 15 bucks per trading gold, I think when we're through 1985, we'll trade 2,000 almost immediately. Um, and maybe that's that's the way to express express yourself uh, anyway we're trading this on the long side it's more of a longer term trade uh, we'll see how that goes what else is out there I guess we can look at dollars are this is a weird one right so we traded up to 1904 um, Friday but really didn't like it up there and this looks like kind of a funny little turn bar here. Uh, we had very strong risk on in stocks, which was sort of window dressing. I wouldn't be long dollars are here. Uh, we don't like to be short dollars are, so we're not touching it. But dollars are looks like <clears throat> looks like she can go lower now, especially if the U.S. misses on their numbers, and we remain in this sort of risk on um, mode in equities. Speaking of risk on mode in equities, kind of have this double top here at 4,500. Um, is it a break trade? I don't think so. It's hard to break trade stocks on, on risk on. Uh, but are we going to trade up there or test it? Yes, we surely, it, you know, it surely feels like it and looks like it. So just be careful. This thing could float a little bit. Um, we don't see any real strong reasons to sell, even though we don't understand why the fuck we're up here. Um, with short rates at five, five and a quarter. But it is what it is. Um, and as most of you have seen, we don't really trade uh, S&Ps much this year. And shit looks bad. So, voila. Aussie uh, may also float higher on a U.S. miss and um, stronger risk on. No real, uh, no real horse in that race. I guess let's look at uh, dollar, dollar China. Been so much talk about how China's fucked. Um, had a long talk with a strategist, uh, ex Lehman guy last night. And, you know, he's been listening to Peter Zahan, all these guys on the YouTube or whatever, and about how China is just totally fucked. If you look at the chart here, it kind of looks like it is true. We know there's a debt problem in China. We know there's all kinds of other problems. Um, but here, 
this is a tricky one, right? So you have a doji here after a very, very strong up move. Let's call it, uh, you know, 5% up move. And we're going into U.S. numbers, which might be weak, right? So this is an interesting level, 724.46. So if you're a contrarian and you don't want to believe the hype and you think China is going to be just fine, uh, 724.40 is kind of interesting here we will not be trading it but I just want to point it out to uh, the fans of privateer that's really all I got um, main focus is Swiss yen euro yen today uh, Swiss yen could really move euro Swiss also uh, if if the Swiss side misses if I'm wrong and the Swiss side is stronger, we're just going to stand down and, and not trade this. Um, we really do not like Swiss yen uh, shooting higher from here. We also do not like Euro Swiss shooting lower from here. So we just miss it. We just skip it. Trading gold on the long side. Uh, we have our core longs. We'll be probably fishing around if we see some, some prices down in 1912, 1908. Um, we will also probably let some more gold go sort of 2832 and just try and trade it uh, from the long side all right uh, that's all I got good luck out there peeps uh, we'll uh, talk to you tomorrow ciao